Toyota promotes DEI, supports child sex changes, divides employees by race and gender. So this guy is Robbie Starbuck, and he does a lot of things that he, he goes on and expose a lot of these woke companies. One of them, I believe, was like a Harbor and Freight. Uh, one of them was um, Harley Davidson and a couple of other companies that he's like sort of like out at them. out. It's like, yo, you, you promote all these gay shit. What are you doing? Right. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nuts. They also um, sponsored a, uh, a summer camp where you little kids can go. And then a drag queen is actually going to be there for them and sort of promote their stuff. They also did a parade. I forgot where it might have been in New York or something like that, where all their cars came out and it had a pride flag on it. So he's talking about why have you, you know, catered to this? You know, like it's, it's such a small percentage, you know, like and the thing is a lot of and, and the thing is Toyota is a family brand. Toyota is a family brand. You sell you, you're catering to family. You're, cat you're catering vans. You, Sienna is one of the best vans out there. Why are you catering to all of these woke people? Right. So uh, did you know about this? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and read this really quick. Let's see. Uh, here's the thing. It's time to expose Toyota. Toyota has been one of the most trusted brands in America, but they've really gone totally woke. Here's more. So let's go, 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 go ahead and actually go to the Robbie Starbuck uh, post right over here. Here's what I found. Toyota sponsored a drag queen program at a summer camp for kids identifying as LGBTQ+. Toyota opposes laws that ban sex changes for kids and funds group who work at uh, to make sex changes legal for children, and they worked with the HRC that opposes the law. So basically, the HRC is the people who are like making sure people like, oh, you got to make sure you have you know gender affirming care for little kids, gender tra transitioning shit for little kids, which is uh, disgusting. Toyota openly supports the Equality Act, which will allow men to go into the girls' bathroom, sports, and lockers rooms. Uh, Toyota funded the HRC Time to Thrive Summit, where they worked with the largest teachers union to push gender ideology into elementary schools. Donated to the HRC and the Trevor Project, Dallas Resource Center, and the Los Angeles LGBT Center, and the Workplace Equality Summit. All supporters of child transitions, the Trevor Project features chat rooms where adults have been caught talking to kids about sexual kinks, how to transition and masturbate, and more. They are also have a quick exit feature to wipe the browser history and hide the website from parents. Sort of like when I immediately X out my tabs, my history uh, basically erases just in case my wife walks in, right? They funded many all ages pride events, woke DEI trainings, which I do know of, LGBT Chamber of Commerce members, prefer uh, preferential treatment for diverse suppliers, hosted LGBTQ plus events for corporate, uh, created custom cars with trans flags, ERG groups uh, divided by race and sexual orientation, a total commitment to DEI policies, 100 out of 100% CEI score from an HRC for 16 straight years, meaning that they are like really, really an ally in terms of cars, right? But before I continue with this, how do you feel about owning a Toyota and buying from Toyota moving forward? Uh... I see this more of a U.S. thing than it is in all the other countries. So, uh, I, in the greater scheme of things, I don't see this making a big impact in terms of customer base. Uh, mm -hmm. But I do see it having a negative impact towards employees if they push this, especially yeah. the fe the female ones and the. Uh, not masculine ones like they're gonna like incidents are about to happen if they're gonna 100% implement this as company policies like mm -hmm. really you're, you're gonna put the same male and female in the same bathroom not nothing bad is gonna happen to that it's it's a guarantee it's like yeah i see this like a temporary thing like if a lot of crazy shit starts to happen especially amongst their staff they're gonna stop they're gonna cut this right away and knowing the u.s is so against this kind of stuff I imagine a decline in sales that will force them to turn around. But yeah. in terms of like where I'm from, we're in the Philippines, th that's not like if they do, nobody's going to give a shit. Yeah. That's what I feel. Yeah. All right, let's continue. To put it mildly, Toyota seems to have forgotten who their core customers are. They depend on American families and Japanese families to buy their cars. It's time to remind them who their customers are. I don't think the values at corporate reflect the values many Toyota and Lexus owners have. 
uh, with the exception of maybe Prius owners who probably like the walks. <laughs> <laughs> do toyota lexus owners who want the money they spend uh with toyota to be used for uh used later by corporate to push an ideology that's diametrically opposed with their own values if you think the toyota values don't align with yours uh you're a customer or a potential customer who wants to speak out maybe here's their info and stuff like that so this was made uh how long ago this was made on a this was made like a week ago mm. good news Toyota follows growing trend companies halting DEI policies mm. and initiatives. Now, mm. the thing is, Toyota, do you think they care about DEI, ESG, like LGBTQIA woke garbage? Fuck nah. no. Absolutely nah. don't. All they care about is money. Yeah. Right? And if this is going to lose them money, let's stop it. That's their bottom line. Yeah. Right? It's same thing for anything else. If DEI ESG woke garbage actually makes the money, they will like, I don't care. We're going to continue this. We're not going to listen yeah. to any of it. But the thing is that they know that DEI makes no money. And here's the thing. DEI ESG garbage woke LGBT uh, bullshit. Do you know what they don't have? Kids. That means that they won't buy vans. They won't buy those things that families would buy. And do you know what's going to happen if they don't have kids? They will eventually die out. The future is conservative. It's because conservative people or people who, who are classically liberal, who are, who are OG Democrats, they believe in family values. They believe in all that kind of stuff. So they'll continue buying stuff. Their family and genes and their legacy will continue to move on and carry on while all these woke fucks will die off in the dirt. That's how it's going to be. And that's why Toyota knows this. Is it the, they say that woke DEI, you know, LGBTQ stuff, they're not going to have any kids because they can't. Let's, you know, and we're going to lose a lot of money. And do you know who also has a lot of cars from Toyota? The Taliban. The Taliban yeah, I, love Toyotas. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like, I don't think they can push this shit in the Middle East, a very oil-centric part of the world, right? Like, yeah, the, moment and the thing is that, they yeah. they don't they don't agree with lesbians. They don't agree yeah. with DEI garbage. They don't believe with gay gays or that, that kind of stuff. Like if you're trans, yeah. Do, do you know what happens if you are? That you get thrown in jail or you get out. You basically get unalived from them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's it's yeah. it's they, they will purposely stone you to death. So yeah. Toyota knows that kind of stuff. So that's a good thing. And the thing is yeah. that several other companies like Ford and John Deere have distances of some, themselves from the woke programs as well. Yeah. So that this is I, a big I, win. Like like Asman Gold yeah. saying, we are winning. Yeah, I yeah, like I said, it's like these things will stop if like we cut out the funding, which I hope like I know Larry Fink got uh I know he broke down in the last earnings call because people kept calling him out for it. I hope they it, it goes even more, and I I hope it gets recorded. I, I hope the earnings call gets recorded so we can see him break down even more. Because like I think he's gonna get more backlash this year for the earnings call for BlackRock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they need to stop allocating from the profit. Just double down on the profitable shit. Don't move out profit. Don't move out income from profitable ventures to this kind of stuff. Yeah, like uh, but the the thing is that. I, I was considering buying a Toyota Sienna. And then mm. I saw that. I'm like, I don't want to buy. It. I asked my wife and I told her about it. I read her the I read her the, the actual thing. We watched the, the actual video from Robbie Starbuck. And after that, she's like, I don't want to get a Sienna anymore. And then we were mm. looking at um <laughs> Honda Odysseys because the fuck's hard. Right. <laughs> so we test drove one a couple of days ago. And then I saw this article again. My wife is like, all right, cool. Toyota's back on the menu. Because the Sienna is like, out of all the vans out there, it's like the best one, right? But yeah, man, it's um, I'm I'm glad it's it's going. Uh, you know, we're winning. I'm glad that they're moving away from that woke DEI stuff. Now, all we can do right now, it's hopefully Robbie Starbuck can expose all of these other companies because he's doing the Lord's work, man. Like he's like no one's asking him to do this. He's just doing it on his own goodwill, and that's awesome. It He's yeah. like the J James O'Keefe, but for all other for all companies. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Agro podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, 
hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.